What's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, the Spanish garrison at Bastion has sallied forth to try and destroy us on the beaches and that will not happen because their army is an army of chaff. So let us take them to battle and destroy them. But ultimately I think my, well, our strategy to open up a western front against the Dutch is a good one. Uh, we may end up having to attack Great Britain. That is another potential option to further increase our stranglehold on Dutch trade by controlling the English Channel and pushing around onto the northern coasts. So let's take my gunners. Well, I don't know. Do I deploy? Okay, let's deploy my gun teams in pairs. Two Hindu... Ooh, is there a feature here somewhere? We are going to slowly advance forward. Form up. Good. Kizobashi. Number two Kizobashi on the left. A bit too far. There we go. Um keep a melee unit behind each of my gun teams because the AI loves to charge gun teams Got my Indian guards on the right Kizilbashi cavalry and my Suman and my Sipahi can be paired up then my horsemen and my elephants can be on the left got a unit of pikes that are spare in the center. Same with my general. Fire it will off. God, that's a lot of enemy assets. And there's more where they came from. So, by the looks of it, they aren't suicide charging right at us. So, we are able to take our time, deploy our line. Although, actually, that's a interesting terrain feature there I get the distinct impression once we begin attacking the enemy they will charge because they don't have any artillery well I say that they're charging right now let's ignore them for the time being Interesting. Deploy my Hindu warriors. That's a large enemy cavalry charge. But it is an army of provincial cavalry. A unit of provincial cavalry. And they are happy to just throw more into it. It's going to, strictly speaking, you guys want to go for my guns. Make sure my Hindu musketeers continue forming square. Gunners and limber. My Indian infantry guards can hold or keep doing what they're doing. My Hindu warriors are chipping away at the enemy. It looks like they've decided they would rather engage this unit of Hindu musketeers, so let's let them do that. enemy general is looking to get some action but I'm afraid he has now wandered officially oh you're gonna fire around shot good hits canister shot please you've got a reasonable field of fire to fire shrapnel shot enemy gunners have ceased Get into line. Pull my Hindu warriors back. You can shrapnel shot. Just pick a unit of militia. You men shrapnel shot. A unit of militia. Uh, oh, oh, pikemen, run! We do have a good number of pikemen. A 
real good number of pikemen fall back. Keep my cavalry on the flank, get my general over here to add a bit more moral support. The enemy infantry mass is going down. See those are pikemen and those are pikemen as well on the flank. Move my Hindu warriors further out. Pikes are okay. So I've got skirmish mode on. We don't want them to really catch us. Gurkhas get in. Couple more routes. So let's collectively try make these pikemen route. Well, you don't push up too far. There we go, infantry. Warm up. Keep my war elephants out of the way. Oh my Gurkhas, you better counter charge to be honest with all this mayhem. You guys keep skirmishing, my war elephants keep running. Ooh, you guys fire at will, should have done that ages ago. Put a volley into those pikemen. Heavy cavalry charge, Sipahi. Get over here, because got more pikemen coming in. War elephants get out of here, general's bodyguard fire at will. You may attack the militia. Gunners flee, Hindu musketeers form square. Hindu warriors get in against the pikemen. Reinforcements, enemy reinforcements are still coming in. Heavy cavalry format, fire at will on. Get my Sapahi up behind the line. My gunners just keep running. It looks like some of the enemy have, has elected to keep fighting us. I'm going to have to charge my elephants into the rear of the pikes. Get my Sipahi in against the militia. Then we need to start pivoting. Get you unit, these units to redeploy immediately. Hindu Musketeers redeploy, Kizabashi redeploy. Gurkhas get back. Hindu Musketeers form line. Gunners limber up. Begin pivoting and send in the cavalry. Well, send in the elephants. Bring the Gurkhas up. Go on, you men, pour fire into the knights. Get them out of the picture. One more volley should be enough. There we go. It's not you, men. Push up. Gurkhas hit the militia. 
Kizobashi format. I'm sort of counting on my... Because I should have him, but they get the provincial horse. They're chasing down my gunners. I forgot about them. But they're done for. Hopefully, my Gurkhas can make. There, gets the 14th regiment route. Pull back. You fellows. Don't deploy like that. Gunners up on the hill. Get my Kizobashi to fill in part of the line, keep my Gurkhas back safe. Continue Musketeers, are you ready to rock and roll or have you got to reload? Ready for any of it, but we want what we want to do is keep aggressively pushing up so that we can dominate this high ground. Get my Sapahi up here. I mean, these guns are never going to make it over here in time, but let's keep pushing anyway. give my infantry orders to keep pushing up. Well, there we go. So now as the reinforcements enter the field, they will become increasingly under threat from massed Mysorean musketry right from the get-go. Get my Kizobashi over on this hill. Yeah, they might get some initial shots off, but they are they are militia, so Indian Musketeers are more than adequate to deal with the militia threat. Looks like though we are soon. They are going to be out of troops. I'll oh, get this unit of Sapahi just to storm down the hill towards the 37th Armoured Lance Cavalry against Militia on the downward slope. Carnage. Shaken. Wavering. Broken. Keep attacking. Keep pushing towards the 23rd Regiment. Looks like they are the last unit. To be honest, it looks like it will. It is the end in general. So, Kizobashi storm over the hill into the 21st. The infantry can join them. And my armoured cavalry should still be doing a number on the 23rd. thought the 18th was going to route but there we go we've sent the enemy the enemy Spaniards scuttling back with their tail between their legs nice work probably not gonna not gonna carry on we're taking a bit of damage let's get a bit of uh, replenishment done and then we can lay siege to the city but that's quite a significant loss for the enemy and we now outnumber them back you devils go See where Georgia is electing to go. Pulling men away from Baghdad. Heading towards Ankara by the looks of things. You men are pulling back to the capital. Capital army. Are they going to go to embark? They did embark. Interesting. Wonder where they're going to go. Very curious. 100,000 riots in Spain. But whatever they, I presume it looks like they broke something that didn't, that wasn't fixed anyway. Keep the road upgrades going. 
So let's go for iron workshops. Let's get a weaver's cottage. Let's upgrade the madrasa in Lisbon. Upgrade Salamanca to be a craft workshop. Upgrade this to a craft workshop. Yeah, this by get up to Brussels. I can get this army to cover the very strategic bridge north northern Spain. This force can drive forward. Bilbao we want to get rid of. I don't think we really lack. Um, we really think we really lack uh, naval production, at least not for the time being. So we do want to take out Tangier, but probably going to do that by taking this army and attacking it from the sea. But for now, let's make sure we're doing everything we need to do. Mallorca. Get a port. Upgrade this commercial port. Get this force replenishing, and then... In... Oh, it's because there's an enemy control zone. Too much, you may as well just take it. Attack the city. It's mostly the garrison forces we have to sort of worry about coming after us. But in general, I think we're in... We're in a good position to just storm forward. And... Clear out the city, take the island, and that will be another enemy holdout, actually. To be honest, this army can refit and potentially be used to attack Morocco. Maybe land in Ireland and drive into mainland UK. So. Let us. Let us deploy an army facing the garrison ahead of us but effectively deploy everyone else in a more casual manner ready to respond. Okay, got stuff coming in from the left. So let's get the left flank better equipped. It looks like that is where the bulk of the enemy... Oh, I say that. There's a lot of enemy reinforcements coming in from directly behind the enemy too. Uh, Kizilbashi cavalry. Storm forward. Take out those guns. So who's... Or is it back here? Yeah. Holding a defensive position near where their reinforcements are coming in. Let's allow them to combine. No, they killed my enemy with an errant mortar shot. You all suffer for this. See that I can already see them running towards my line. They want to run to their doom. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Back they go. Shot their officer down. Yeah, that's the end of you. Okay, let's speed up times. I do want the enemy force to combine. I'm not overly bothered about going after it piece by piece. smaller guns limber up although that looks like that might be it so yeah you know what disregard my earlier statement maybe cavalry can deal with them hello They appear to like the right flank. Let's rotate the force. If these men can go up... Well, we're driving forward with the heavy cavalry, a few volleys. 
a bit of melee attack. See, we're redeploying my infantry. Let's shoot up Hindu Musketeers, form square. There we go, putting a volley in from the adjoining unit. So who are you after? Oh, they are, they are definitely do want to charge this unit of Hindu Musketeers. You are welcome to charge, because I've got some pointy stick boys who are going to gamble running, a lot, running in front of an artillery unit. Push my Kizilbashi cavalry forward. You men form up. You men push the flank. Sipahi push forward. Gunners, advance. Samandari horsemen, go for the general's bodyguard. There's only eight of them. Yeah, the enemy seems happy to kind of want to dig in. Just keep my keep my pikemen back. Just the general's bodyguard would have elected to charge the square had I let them. They appear to think they've found a gap they can exploit. Got some Gurkhas here who would very much debate the point. These men appear content to let the rest of their comrades be slaughtered. Smash into their wavering troops. going until they shatter. These units, except for the Thipahi, advance towards the enemy. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Advance towards the town. Okay, maybe go after here. Go after the 16th now. Maybe you guys have an order like so. Nope. Except for the cavalry. Yeah, we're not overly bothered about whipping beaten dogs. They're already running. Let them run. Reform the line and get ready to attack the next enemy concentration. Let's try and get some momentum in our flanking attack. See, imagine being men of the third, seeing just your comrades fleeing. This unit of Hindu Musketeers advance up to here. Oh my Gurkhas in reserve. I mean, my guns have been a bit useless. Granted, some of them I, I have limbered up. I don't think it's entirely necessary. Yep. Oh god. That's right in my ear. Another 
advance. You will advance with a cold, contemptuous caution for the enemy. Even their pikemen. As my horsemen go for the provincial cav. I am a general's bodyguard and my war elephants left all those behind. Okay, maybe not too contemptuous because there are bad guys coming our way. Hit them and then hit my. Get my Gurkhas deployed. Oh, see, this is the handy thing is they're getting themselves trapped. Oh, you men are trying to be sneaky. My guys, ah, they're out of ammo. But they're going to try and intervene in this combat which we appear to be winning. Yeah, those Pokemon are routing through our lines, which is quite lovely. Push forward, man. Gurkhas get straight involved. Where's my... Have at them. You men, have at them. These men advance around the town to drive musketry into the volleys of the men to the rear. Push my Sipahi forward to try and attack. This unit of garrison line to the rear. You men drive forward, you men go after that unit of militia. Everyone else, just give them an order just to push through. The Gurkhas are going to take these militia to task. The first regiment of militia are that. The colonialists' first empire, actually, I think. Oh, no, no, you guys keep hitting the 12th. The drummer boy has been ridden down. I suppose you might be useful to fix, fix the garrison line, get them to redeploy. Uh, you men just charge. We're driving straight through this line. See, even units that are bad in melee are fine if you're against rubbish troops. Charge! Well, some of them appear to be dying out of fright. This man just fell over. Well, he seems okay. He's coming back up. I was hoping you men would redeploy, but apparently not. Why run my Sipahi up behind you? Yet the core of the rest of the army is gone. Oh, how about you? And the rest of you guys all try and attack the fifth as well. They're attempting to deploy into square, but they haven't done it fast enough. Oh no, they're fixing plug bayonets. That's what they're doing. And then forming square. Very well, my Sipahis will flee. Strictly speaking, it's probably easier to just attack them with musketry. Let's see if we can destroy them with our infantry forces. Well, the war elephants are coming in. We've got through to the centre. The officers dueling with their, with their uh, colour bearer. Oh, our elephants are coming in. Oh, uh. 
Elephants don't give a damn. If you're moving, you're weird and scary to an elephant. Nice. Okay. So that is another glorious territory secured for our brave empire. We need to recruit a new general, though, which is a bit of a bummer. But Bastia is ours, and it's immediately returned from crumbling decay to growth. So it's retreating. It's training new general from our elephant corps. Rajaram Gadiraju. Catch you. Let's replenish. So my battle fleet. Eh, my battle fleet can, can make this the home port for now. We are content to blockade and choke off the enemy's trade. That's our port they're currently interfering with. Well, that is all their ports blockaded. Okay. Construction report. Commercial Basin. Oh, global Trading Company, North Africa. That's not a priority. Hello, Gordy. Okay, right. So, what we're going to do... You are going to come over to St. Augustine and land in Florida. This army is going to attack these small Spanish chaps that are attempting to get around the flank. You men replenish, drive on to Bogota. So this force... Oh, because they issued other orders for another unit. You're going to land at St. Augustine. This will be our first troops in the continental US. Let's go have a look at Norland's port. Hello. Yoink. Oh, we <gasps> it's Theodore. My favourite general for my Louisiana campaign. I'm afraid we will have to kill him. Uh, we're recruiting a new army in Egypt. Six slot, Four slots remaining, rather. They've already... We've already got that in hand. So in India, Gunners, you recruiting? Okay, right. You need. So you've got two units of melee infantry. You could probably do with one or two more, but chiefly we want two, three, and two, four plus one more unit of. Uh, mercenaries. Then what we also want to immediately get going on another army. Get two Kizobashi, one native lancer, one Sapahi. Great gun, three twenty-four pounders. Let's get a unit of dervishes and a unit of Islamic swordsmen. There we go. And these fleets. It's you. Are you completely done? You are. You can sail to the streets of Madagascar because we have other... Okay, let's go east out to the East Africa Trade Theatre. That's good stuff. Got two armies or navies that are ready to replace those that are damaged on station. So it's most of Egypt, the Arabian Sea, the Med. I mean, we do want some third rate or lower tier ships. <coughs> you, you're actually. Fairly well balanced, so the second rate can go back to Antalya. So you're positioned ready to block off the Black Sea, as well as being ready to respond to any Prussian attacks. Heroic death, that was my general. Well, he got squashed by a mortable. We sorted out Spain's problem. 
I mean, it's, they're not ready for me to leave them ungarrisoned. Although, minus two is actually not bad. But I'm going to keep this army in there for now. You're both pushing up to the front. You're going to infiltrate Paris. The, look, the ground looks fairly clear. Interesting. Very interesting. Region captured Corsica. Damn right it is. We will be going for, for uh, Tangier soon. But everywhere else looks okay. Let's move this sloop over to Cinemari. We may see an enemy response as when we land on the continental US. But I am ready to face that as it comes. You men are all fully replenishing because you... This army of Martinique will probably land in Lower Louisiana, capture that territory. We can get ready to drive up the coast into the 13 colonies. My spy's still doing good work. Although I wonder... Sabotage the National Academy. Damn. I was hoping I could sabotage the National Academy, cut their entertainment and culture down, see if I can force a rebellion. That would be pretty slick. But as it is, we are just pushing up the frontier. 17,000. That's Is this going to be the first time that I'm going to have surplus cash because that time has to be arriving although it looks like I'm probably going to find things to spend it on let's build another madrasa actually there is no madrasa in this region good even, even if we can just build one agent to try and start pre-converting people that would be useful that's a lot of a lot of United Provinces troops. This is potentially more manageable, but we we would incur a lot of casualties trying to break into this region. We're better off consolidating our flank and also probably doing that via invading Tangier, unless Tangier has some frustrating allies. Uh, Morocco. We could trade with them, but we're not gonna. We could trade with Greece, but we're not gonna. And we could trade with Dagestan, but we're not gonna. Right, okay, let's hit end turn. So. I think we may end up having to try and pursue some sort of mass sabotage campaign in order to beat the Dutch. Hello? They're attacking my fleet somewhere. I can just about hear my Mysorian. Ah. Ooh. You fools. Yes, we are going to fight this because it brings my channel army, my channel navy, into the fight. So the fleet that's being attacked, they will flee. Whichever way is the most efficient, they will flee. Could we may as well try to save our sloop? Or at least sail it towards. Uh, the best way to best way to run is to the enemy fleet. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, the my fleet is coming into battle is not coming into battle at all. Oh no, it is coming in. It's just coming in incredibly slowly. This could cause problems. But fortunately, it looks like the enemy is attempting to redeploy. So this could take a long time. Um, I'm going to hit the... This battle may not end up happening. They've attacked me, so they're in real trouble. Because we win if we survive and it looks like my re my 
reinforcing ships are going to take a long time to enter the fight. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But look, they're... Okay, so I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back in, in a suitable moment, which there's no guarantees when that'll actually be, so just... So I'm going to very quickly bring those back. But this would see this moment. Because Jebek was fleeing opposite the weather gauge. So all the enemy ships started following them. So I went, wait, why do that? This is the uh, this is the fox. No, these are the foxes, and this is no, this is the fox, and this is the the hunt. That's what it is. That's the right way around. So I decided to actually just get my Jebek to head towards my fleet. And there's a terrible, um, horrible um seen unfolding here as everyone attempts to yeah like oh god even trying to do trying to get these guys into a proper formation doesn't look super nice what we can do is sail them forwards and just kind of hope they figure themselves out the main challenge is that lots of these the big thing is this heavy first rate just is just kind of sat in the middle of the formation, slowing everyone down. But still, my third rates are up front. They'll be able to engage. But yeah, I just thought it was quite funny because look, they're like, "Come here, you!" I'm like, nah, my Jebek's pretty speedy. Although they've lost eight guns. But soon, sloop, you're sailing into the guns of a battle fleet. So. Yeah, see you back in a second, everyone. Here we go. So let's... Let's get into the fight. So my left... Okay, both these broadsides are actually... Well, yeah, they're... They are very keen on destroying my... Little sloop. Most of these ships can stay... Hold their positions to fire into the enemy fleet that's actually heading towards my line. But a lot of these ships are just uh, like a lot of these back here. Let's give them a or secondary order to sail behind the line. You guys, your job is to sail further forward. Oh dear, you're gonna be hurting in a minute. Oh, chain shot you. I'll change shot you good! We're beginning to engage the enemy battle fleet. We don't want to forget that is our objective. You men. Oh no, don't board the brig. all these guys they can't get anything sorted out to so you third rate need to haul sail and get the hell out of there you're stuck you're making way for that third rate you guys can try and sail the other side of this ship the other side of this uh, engagement You're going to pivot. Still firing chain. You shuffle forward. You stay where you are. Four chain into St. Marie, the fifth rate. There we go. There goes our main mast. I'm a big fan of mast firing. You blast that fifth rate with chain, that would be good. Sloop's gone. Fifth rate's dismasted. Your broadside right is nearly ready.
put pump a broadside into this four three ship on the line. Akaboom! Akaboom's alright. Okay, these ships sail forward into the next battle line. You'll put, you put a broadside into St. Marie. Got another fifth rate that's making the rounds. Surrendered. You're still firing round shot, that's good. The two heavies are way in the back. Guys, sail at full sail. Actually, no, that that ship's definitely going down. That fifth rate. Bloit's in trouble. Only saying, only firing chain shot because chain dismasts small ships really quite quickly. You can just mash them quick and they get very upset. You're going to fire your broadside just so you can fire it well instead. Rippling broadside into the fourth rate ship of the line. Thought a foremast might have gone, but sadly not. These ships need to sail over here, get into the battle line. Just like what these fellas are doing. Okay, you get out of here. So all these ships up front. Third rate and fourth rate. Haul ass. This first rate haul ass over here as well. There you go, so the fourth rate's lost a rear mast. A mizzen shot away. You're going to keep firing chain. You're going to keep slamming sh round shot into these smaller ships. Because you've got this first rate ship of the line heading your way. Okay, all the rest of the ships to the rear. Oh. Packed it in. Fire round shot because you want to get some shots into the ship. You sail forward, firing chain. Here comes the heavy first rate. That's going to be a big sucker. Fire off what you can get. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to start engaging this heavy first rate. You're gonna have to keep firing whatever you can at everything you can. Oh, it's gonna hurt some of these dinkier ships. They can't take much of a hammering. Hurrah! Lost her main mast in the first volley. By a round shot. Yeah, you keep shooting into the head of the heavy first ray. Oh god, this is going to get ugly real quick. But you're going to try and fire. Chain. More masts. Shot. What shot? away more better Got an explosion to the rear the 
sail at max speed. I'm going to need some of these ships to probably steamboat more directly into the action. Some of these ships going to have to sit here pumping broadsides into each other. You're going to have to shoot straight up. Well, you can pivot. You need to start firing round shot. Oh, that ship's going to do some real damage here. Play a broadside with whatever you got. Yeah, that's to be expected. You're going to have to keep firing. Or not chain, you're not close enough. You're going to have to start reloading broadsides. We are going to start losing. More ships. Keep pivoting, keep firing chain. Ooh. You fired your shot though. You weigh anchor, you drop anchor, get ready to start pumping chain shot into Catherine. Fire off a partial broadside. You drop anchor as well. Pump some more chain into Convertine's mast. To be expected. You try get around her stern. You lots of good hits. Foremast is gone. You're gonna keep on sailing. Keep going, sailor. Round shot. Fire a will to your port side. Fire. Oh! I keep trying to get behind her. Vision's gone. It's first straight. Get behind her. Main mast is gone. Foremast has gone on main. Drop anchor, keep engaging, round shot, just pump shots into main, Mayan. Another mast is gone, it looks. Oh, yeah, you lost all your masts. Round shot. Fire broadside, right. That's understandable, but now your Hulk, or Dragon's Hulk, is now acting as a guard. The Magyar, Magyar Ferad. Ultimately, Convertine heavy first rate. Let's get Sail first rate into position. Yeah, we've got, we still do have a first rate. I got, shouldn't forget that. We still do have a first rate ship of the line here. Let's start sending some of these heavier ships uh, around to pick off some of these struggling heavier gauge ships. Fire round shot if you can. Fire. Try and get ahead of her. Rolling broadside into Convertine. Cause it to waver.
As soon as you pivot, you're in position. Just drop anchor. Keep pouring in shots. Got a Floyd and a War Floyd. Now you just stay where you are. But keep firing. You sail on around the wreck, so you're going to be in a much better position to pump shots into the heavy first masts. Ah, oh, she's already surrendered, man. Let it go. Good, my first great ship of the line. Sail forward into this gap. Get a good shot through here. Poor third race, taking a lot of hits. Surrendered, so that first race ship of the line is the only ship standing. Oh, you've... That's because your own ship's in the way. But still, fire through hit that last. Yes. There goes her mizzen. So an already slow ship is now very slow. Admiral Adorita, my flag ship. We'll continue to engage the first rate ship of the line. Now my heavy third is in a position to uh, snap at the heels of the heavy first. Yeah, I'd look a bit more concerned if I were you, buddy. Get ready just to fire into Burt van Alkmaar. Another broadside in from the other direction. Get it right behind her. You guys get ready. Actually, you try cut ahead of her. It's first straight. Switch to round shot. Begin to fire at will. First switch of the line is now wavering. Shaken. Oh, broadside, you're firing into mine. That's a good hit. Down, they've got 40 guns remaining though. The fourth rate surrendered. Make ready with a broadside. Yeah, you cut across ahead of her. Firing chain. Got another ship to her stern. Ready. Drop more chain onto her. The dogs are circling. Oh, routing. Pump a broadside in. Are you standing tall? Mysorian second rate ship of the line ready to open fire though. Okay, swing around. The fourth rate engaging at range. Good, good hits, good hits. Second rate ship of the line ready to engage. Flight is routing. I don't like that so much. My second rate broadside inbound. Finally, you've surrendered. You're going to fire a chain shot broadside into her stern. Shave away the last mass she's got. Smashing shots into surrendered ships. Broadside away. You cut one of her lines, but that wasn't enough. Oh uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I've got to deal with you. My Admiral's got something for you, Floyd. I'm going to fire chain just to make sure you, we knock out some of these masts because these things can move pretty fast. God, Nesame. Third ship, third rate sinking. Open fire! There's a lot of lead flying around. Well, you're broadside into the war flight. Master's down. Four masters was hit the crew off. Surrendered. Four masters gone. So now it's just this heavy first rate with a third of her guns remaining. Fighting on bravely, but foolishly. You sail on ahead, you can pivot. Get the second rate sailing along. My Admiral broadside. Oh. Winning slightly, eh? It's, it's just good business. Just good business. Shaken. Come on. Loading and firing your musket's not gonna help. I'm trying to knock out that last mast. To be honest, it's probably just completely futile. You're on fire, so you're going to have to cease fire. Just fire around shot. She held us off very bravely, but not enough. You just drop anchor. You just drop anchor. Everyone's pummeling. Pummeling her with shot. You're the only ship firing chain. Everyone else is firing round shot. Fire! Oh yeah, fire at will. You were on fire, weren't you? Missed again! I mean, look at just look how many hull points this thing must have. But for, what I'm actually going to do is go like this because ultimately she is doomed. There we go, decisive victory. So we have captured the the bulk, the fighting strength of the Dutch fleet. So we lost. We lost one ship. Let's bring every two months bring every ship into service. Hurrah! Didn't quite go to plan, did it? From the United Provinces. The end was here for you. And it looks like they're starting to be aware of the fact that they have a new front line to worry about. No, don't break my stuff. Yeah, this is another reason why I'm interested in owning Great Britain, because it kind of feels like I'm going to want control over the Baltic Sea. Control over the Baltic Sea with multiple fleets. They demand Persia with a bunch of money and 82 grand. It's a pretty good offer, Russia, but no. I'm not interested in furthering 
The colonial ambitions of a decaying empire. I mean, they're attacking us somewhere. Yeah, there they. There we go. Yeah, I see if my sloop can take him out. Ah. You'll suffer for this peace. You can't say peace. No. You can't just sink my ship and say, no takes his backsies, bro. Nah, -uh, not in my house. Not in my house at all. So, come on, let me at him, let me at him, let me at him. 102,000 an imam in Ceylon. Okay. So let's take two fourth rates. Oh, that's... Uh, are we converting yet? No. So literally only when he dies are we going to be able to start converting it away. Okay. Um, I suppose I should upgrade the buildings here at Ceylon because that's it's another quite compact recruitment centre. Something like that. Cool. Port blockaded. Yeah, it's fine. Complete destroyed. One sloop. The more important thing was our kick-ass victory over the Dutch. So let's take you guys. Take you away. So we can combine you guys together. Hurrah. He can't naval recruit anything at that such distance. Where to Cabello? Upgrade the commercial port. Push you guys forward. Let's get Santo Domingo firing on all cylinders. I forgot we hadn't actually max upgraded this territory. Steam powered sugar mill. So much goods. So many goods, I should say. Good. Algiers. You're doing okay. I think I'm going to end this turn attacking... Re wait, Rebellion in Spain? That makes zero sense. You men take the city, and then we're probably just going to auto-resolve the rebels, because otherwise they're going to be super annoying. It looks like their intention is to be super annoying regardless. But still, cover the bridge. Two turns, that's okay. They may break some stuff, but they won't break this. Let's, we're not going to... Okay, right. We can manage the rebels. Recruitment report. So Egypt, it's got a fully fledged army. Ultimately, this this army is not going to be not a top quality force. So it's probably best served fighting in the Americas. Let's move my third rate over to Alexandria. And then immediately start again. You. Sapahi, native lancers, desert camels, some Andari horsemen. Four gunners and a unit of... Can light infantry. Cool. 29,000. You're still replenishing. Successful mission. Yeah. Try sabotage their building. Excellent. Enemy raids, that's okay. Ooh, didn't impact their happiness at all. By destroying the National Academy. It's unfortunate. Elsewhere, so... This fleet action. 
So you guys, Rembrandt. Oh yeah, they crashed into each other. You men blockade the British or the, the English Channel. So this sloop can go to Bilbao. So let's bring in a first rate ship of the line to Porto. New chaps replenish. So this is a smaller squadron for attacking smaller enemy fleets. So you guys get in and replenish. The medium ships will be formed into another small squadron to face off against enemy ships. Oh, actually... Okay, right. You guys, now they don't have a navy... Attack Rotterdam. Well, they're actually can't do anything about it. Blockade Antwerp. There we go. So we bottle that, the Dutch fleet. Upgrade a water powered cloth mill. Then let's take this sloop out. There's no point worrying about movement points. Actually, we could. Actually, there might be. Claire Wah, don't call our allies. Take Tangier, storm up the coast, boom. Then we'll take the city, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing expansion of Mysore. Cheers everyone.